For 34 years now, turkeys have been a part of my life every fall when Thanksgiving came around. It was actually quite a family fight over the turkey neck each year. My grandma, dad, and I all loved that appendage, something fierce. From Thanksgiving experiences, my turkey life changed when I killed the world record eastern gobbler with a bow a few years back. From that point on, my jive turkey went much farther than hustling for a turkey neck on Thanksgiving. I have officially become a turkey hunter. For real. This past spring while attending my very first Eastern sports show in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, I happened to meet a guy named Eddie Edmondson. By the end of the nine day show, Eddie and I had really hit it off. Eddie's background was something that was intriguing to say the least. He'd recently retired from over 20 years of service with military special ops, literally hunting high value targets all around the world. Eddie's pretty much my hero, and it was my absolute pleasure to invite him to chase some high value turkey targets with me in Iowa this spring. For five days, we would chase the meatiest turkey necks available outside of the supermarket. Welcome to Turkey Zinc. At Whitetail Zinc, we do all the work and don't hunt with outfitters or guides on huge pieces of managed property. We're do it yourselfers just like you. We're not professional athletes but sometimes we feel like professional tree trimmers. We have extremely high standards and only compete with ourselves. I think I just passed about a thousand inches. <laughs> we don't have any cool catchphrase. Let's party. Or feel the need to use face paint to fit in. We only use gear that works and not because somebody's paying us to do so. The only thing that makes us special is our level of dedication. Well, except that Dallas Fort Worth wears a cape and is missing his trigger finger. Welcome to Whitetails Inc. This year, instead of relying on luck to kill a bird, a couple of weeks before the hunt, I set up a dozen trail cameras on all the field edges around my properties. I wanted to know there was multiple toms in each of my hunting spots before we spent any time hunting them. Just before Eddie was to arrive, I checked my cameras and confirmed the boys were around. With this current information, I set up several ground blinds and was confident we would see some big toms. April 16th, just first light, sitting on a cornfield for some turkeys. I got my buddy Eddie with me from North Carolina, and I'm hoping to show him what Iowa turkeys look like this morning. It is freaking howling like usual, but the power in is kind of tucked in on this back corner here. Had a long walk in this morning, but I know that there's a bunch of big toms working this area. I've seen big turkey almost every time I've come out here, so got a ground blind set up last week. Now we're ready to rock and roll. We just need some turkeys to show up so Eddie's up first. I'm rolling the camera and hopefully we can kill one this morning. Just had a hen fly down from the roost right through from us and that's the first time I've ever seen that so what I'm thinking is is that's a good sign. We haven't heard any gobbles yet this morning. We've seen four deer and our decoys are still looking really good out there.
Still first day, afternoon. Great hunt this morning. A lot of birds. Nothing close. Uh, what, four deer? Yeah, we actually could have slammed a couple of those. Yeah, four deer. Uh, five or six hens. A couple of large birds. We switched uh, same general field, but uh, different finger. A little more in the shade up on top. Clouds had cleared off. It's about 60 degrees, 65 degrees. And uh, we're going to give it a go for the afternoon. He's an old gobbler grunt dragger. They changed direction, they're heading downhill now. One's head is bright red, man. Yeah, look at that uh, red spot, the bronze in the back. Yeah. Looks like they're working toward the, uh, toward the point here. It's day two in Iowa, same field, different location. Uh, yesterday after the even hunt, repositioned the, uh, one of the blinds because of all the intersecting traffic here high up in the field. Uh, this morning, bright clear day, probably uh, 40s. Very little clouds and the birds are already gobbling this morning. Afternoon, day two, same blind as this morning. We saw uh, what, four, four big toms, a couple of jakes, a few hens, nothing close enough to shoot. Uh, just got in the blind and we busted two hens out of the field. But and they flew, one flew. Yeah, one flew out of here. One flew out of here. I don't know if that means anything in the turkey world or not. But, uh, but uh, this is where they were all at yesterday afternoon. So uh, we're going to see if we can catch them up here again on this uh, high this reason. the field. We had two other toms also up on that ridge, but they went straight into the CRP. He eventually made it into the decoys and uh, got within about 28 yards or so and then decided he was heading toward the woods and uh, put arrow in it, but uh, I'm not sure of the shot. And he walked off. It's about 100 yards into the woods. He didn't run. He just walked off.
that far in aerial. Pretty much west of where every oh, bird's been roasted. Let's give another try from a different angle. And uh, I've already seen a couple of hens this morning. Thank you for watching part one of Turkey's Inc. In part two, there will be death. <laughs> White Knuckle Productions is proud to announce the release of our sixth Whitetail bow hunting DVD, Never Ending Season. Check out the following trailer showing the highlights of our new DVD. It's wicked rad and you need to own it. Thank you everyone for your support. We are Whitetail's Inc. <laughs> Where do I even start? Well, I guess these days, I feel like we never really stop. Immediately following hunting season, we start hitting trade shows, shed hunting, DVD editing, turkey hunting, summer scouting, and filming the velvet rut. Not too long after, we're setting and checking trail cameras, trimming shooting lanes, setting stands, and before you know it, we're all perched in a tree or in a blind somewhere in the wonderful world of the whitetail. All the while, Kyle and I are also producing the Whitetails Inc. web show and launching new episodes all the time. When looking around today's hunting industry, I wouldn't trade the guys on our crew for anybody. We have some of the most seasoned veterans, hardest working and straight up killing machines of any team out there. We are also committed to management and are okay with having fewer kills in our videos if it just means the chance at a truly mature animal. We are who we are. We hunt for ourselves and our season is the never-ending season.